So what did you get your, you have a SAG card or just AFTRA? Uh, just AFTRA. Okay. I, uh, before I was in our business, we, we, we used to write down and stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah. You know, then, then, actually, I didn't do a lot of it, but I did enough of it, but I knew they could leave it during the afternoon. So do I, um, do I have to pay you union wages then to give <laughs> you? No, for you it's free. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll have, to, we'll have to do a contract. <laughs> So yeah, your feet and your legs are kind of swollen. You, have you changed medication recently? You think that's... No, I haven't. It's been kind of that way for a long time. Yeah. And um, it's, it's just been that way, you know. Yeah. Is it painful? Uh, not really. Sometimes it gets, gets a little dead on. I think that's where that pain on that other foot is coming from. Okay. Do I have a talking part? Sure. <laughs> just don't just don't give out your name. Cause then I will have to pay your union wages. <laughs> <That'd be ridiculous>. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the most beautiful toes you've ever seen, I'm sure. No, but quite frankly, it's not even the worst I've seen today. So Is that right. Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's encouraging. Not for the other guy. This was really bad. Huh? I'm just, I'm, um, yeah, there were, there was someone in here with some pretty thick nails today. Uh, More so than yours, so, but. Yeah, this, this has always, it has been like this for quite a few years. Yeah. And coming to you has really been my, uh, my joy. <laughs> well, thank you. It's fine, too, because I think that. So it keeps you comfortable. It does. It in between does. visits, yeah. Which is the goal, just to keep you moving and keep you comfortable. Yeah, and that, that it does. Such a nice job with that. Thank you. Before I, before I met, met you, I started kind of coming here. I went to one of your competitors, and this is so much better. <laughs> I think you know what that is. <laughs> no names. No names. Do what you have to. Some people do come in more frequently, and then. Uh, well, I think it's just easier this way than. You know. Yeah. I don't see any problems. I think I always think to ourselves so as an EMT or a doctor. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe in a previous life. I think you're absolutely right. Graduation is coming pretty soon. I know. I'm all excited. For? For her. <laughs> My daughter? Yeah. Oh, she's finishing her first year of college. Oh, she's already graduated? She already graduated. She had a, uh, she was at a college. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. She's a year ahead. Well, Carly's picked her school. Where's she going? Yeah, I don't believe it was the new school in Manhattan. Really? Yeah. What does she want to study? Or does she just want to be in New York City? I <laughs> think you hit that one right on the head. Uh, I'm really not sure. But she's a, you know, she's an East Coaster. I don't know if she was born here and lived all her life here, but her, her grandparents are on the East Coast. And they think that the end of the country ends at 
on the outskirts of New York City. There's nothing <laughs> west of that. <laughs> well, do you remember that map? That was funny. They used to draw. <laughs> oh, God. That was it was the, probably uh, a cover of a New Yorker. Cover of New York magazine. Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And that's so true. That was just amazing. And Margo was going to be going to uh, Hampton Tech to start with anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's quite ready to watch that. A lot of kids going to junior college and, you know, it, it's a good idea, I think, because then think you can transfer, you know, save I, the money. I, I did it myself in Los Angeles. I went to LACC for a year and I uh, kind of loved it there. I really wanted to get a bit more of an academic education. You know, so I started out at a state school in California, and I remember writing my tuition check for my second semester mm -hmm. for $116 Not amazing. at a Cal State school. What school was that? Uh, Cal State Northridge. And Northridge? Northridge, yeah. That but was in the 80s. You didn't live in LA, you didn't live in LA, did you? Right, but they had a music department, and I started out as a music major. Oh, yeah, that's right. Playing for the Minnesota Orchestra. No, it's never. You tried, you're not. <laughs> yes. Where are they getting? They're really getting good, though. Yeah. That's the toe, I think, that's giving me the problem that cuts into the other one. I'm not sure. Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. I can see that. Did you? Let's roll that one. So when that nail gets long, it rubs here against that it toe. It gets, uh, it gets sore. Right. So we got to make sure that that gets trimmed. Okay, there's no cuts or calluses or no, anything no, there, no, 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 no. but we'll just thin just this one out really well. well. You've done a good job doing this. And this discoloration here, that's just a bruise. You dropped something on it or stubbed Where it. Where is that? Where is that again? On this baby toe here. You've right. got... I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's kind of black and blue down at the base here. That's, oh. that's just a bruise under the nail. Okay. And that'll grow out as the nail grows out. It doesn't matter where that was. All right. So... Society in Minnesota? Um, you know, it's it's kind of educational, kind of entertainment. Um, I've gotten a lot of people who just watch because they've never seen nails that look like this. Mm -hmm. And they have questions and, you know, how to prevent them mm -hmm. early at the beginning. Okay. Um, so, yeah, people are just interested in seeing what we're doing in here. From smoking cigars when I was a kid. You think this is from smoking cigars? <laughs> yes, I used to, but not when I was a kid. Well, how long would you say your nails have been thick like this? Probably 25 years. Maybe more. Did it start with just one or two nails? Yes, I think it really did. But it, it, it all came up pretty quick after a while. Mm -hmm. Are these unusually thick? Not here in my practice. Oh, okay. Um, I see these all day. Nails that look like this. wouldn't be here, right? You know, yeah. In the general public, especially with the younger people who watch these videos, um, they've never seen nails that look like this and didn't know that nails could get like this. But here in my office, yeah, I see this quite frequently. Well, this is what happens when you live in St. Louis Park. <laughs> Thin this one way down. That little sock over that toe, do you think? The little gel pad? Yeah. When that nail starts to grow out, if you can feel it rubbing against there, yeah, uh, putting that little gel pad I'll, on I'll it do that. 
will just help protect the other toe okay. from the nail. That's probably that bed joke that starts to slide off after a while. Hmm. Then just a band-aid even okay. will help okay. keep it from digging into the toe next to it. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So. Okay, we do that. Still the same. 